I've had pimples that last longer than this marriage, Navarro said the view co-hosts don't seem too surprised that the very first golden bachelor couple has already ended their marriage. On Friday's episode, April 12th, the ladies reacted to the bombshell news that Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist are divorcing. The former couple's joint announcement came just three months after they tied the knot in a lavish televised golden wedding. Joy Behar kicked off Friday's Hot Topic segment by stating that when Turner, 74, got married to his final rose Teresa back in January, people, said it wouldn't last. After a brief pause, she added, turns out they were right. The screen then cut away from the comedian, 81, and a clip of Turner and Nist, 70, sharing their news blade. In a joint interview that aired on Good Morning America, Turner sat beside his former bride as he confessed, we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation and so forth, and we've kind of come to the conclusion mutually that it's probably time for us to dissolve our marriage. Laughter could be heard from the View's live studio audience as the clip of the interview played. When the camera returned to Behar, she appeared to be at a temporary loss for words, as did the rest of the cast. Anna Navarro then cut in, directing her comments to Behar. For like, six months, you tortured me every Friday and made me talk about this topic, which I can't stand because I think it's manufactured and a complete crock, the political strategist, 52 said. So, today, I get to say, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. After a bit of laughter, Behar said she believes both will be fine because she has money, and, he has Viagra. The ladies then discussed why the two decided to call it quits, citing geography. When speaking with GMA, Turner said that after looking closely at our situation, our living situation and so forth, they mutually agreed to part ways. Sonny Hostin wondered why one is living in Jersey and the other is living in, I don't know, Indiana. Sounding a bit disappointed, she added, you know, I fell for this nonsense. The journalist, 55, further explained, and I'm upset, because I thought since they were older, they knew better and they could find love and they didn't. You don't watch it to watch people find lasting love. You do to see how the social experiment works, Alyssa Farah Griffin, who considered herself a lifelong Bachelor viewer, said. It's bound to fail, but it's still fascinating to watch, the 34-year-old added. Sarah Haynes pointed out that Turner and Nist's downfall could have been getting married in 20 days. I've had pimples that last longer than this marriage, Navarro said. There are 28 Bachelor Nation couples who are married, engaged, or still dating.